Right guys, today we are making onion gravy. Okay, we use a little grease, some bell peppers and onion sauteed it. We added three tablespoons of flour and the gravy has already brown. Now we're going to add water. And this is part two of a video. Okay, you can either add your water in slowly or pour it all in like I just did. Okay, most of the time I slowly put in here. But today I'm multitasking and doing a number of things. And of course, my mind is in several different places, so I end up pouring the almost the whole thing in here. I pour it in like a cup at one time, but it's okay because once it, it mixes up with the flour, brown flowers, it will start thickening up either way. So, so we're just going to stir this for a few minutes. And then we're going to add a little bit more water. And like I was just saying, this is part two of a video. So check me out on YouTube, Kalon Divine Inspirations. And look for my other video. Okay, I made a mistake and stopped the video. So. I had to do a part two to finish up the cooking episode. Cooking with Kaylon Divine. As you can see, the mixture is bubbling, and that's what you want it to do. But we're going to turn it down some. Okay, I just needed that to come to a quick boil because I put too much water in at one time. So I'm going to make sure it go ahead and mix in. And it has done that. Alright, check out the part one cooking episode. While I was cooking cute steak, rice, and broccoli. Okay, and I'm going to quickly show you those items the cute steak is done and it's going to go into this gravy that I'm making. And as you can see, it's already mixing up and it's going to thicken as it continues. Okay. But we have our onions and bell pepper in here. So it's going to help give it a lot of flavor. Plus we're going to add some additional seasoning. And I will show you those seasonings in a moment. We're going to let this simmer for a minute before we add the other seasonings. And we're going to add a little bit more water. Okay, let's go ahead and add our water so it can go ahead. So total people, that was like two cups of water that I um, put in here. Okay. And we're going to continue to let that stir. Give it one more mix and then we'll just let that simmer. Alright guys. We'll let that... And once that simmers, we're going to add our cube steak. As you can see here, I've already cooked the cube steak. And like I said, check out the first video to get the information of how I cook the cute steak. And they're already browned and sauteed with onions. And Okay, and the other items, that's the broccoli, that's the rice, 
cook with parsley and a little salt. And we are going to add some um, cheese on top of the broccoli. All right, we're going to go ahead and order, add our seasoning. As you can see, it's boiling, so we're ready to add. We're going to add some onion powder. And we're using a generous amount of onion powder because we're not going to use salt. And onion powder is an excellent source to use as a substitute for salt. Okay, and we're going to use ground black pepper. And we're not going to put too much black pepper in there. Okay, that's a good amount because the meat already has black pepper on it. We don't want it to be too hot. Right, and we have our Cajun style spicy Louisiana classic all purpose seasoning. And that's going to give it a little kick as well. So that's another reason we didn't use. Okay, and you can use this in the place of seasoned salt. Okay, and this is has several different spices in it as well. Combination of things. Alright, and we're going to use a little of the garlic and herbs, all-purpose seasoning, rustic Tucson style, Tucson style, style. Okay, and we're not going to use too much garlic. We don't want it to be too garlicky. Alright, and we're going to add just a little of the Italian seasoning. Okay. And we're just going to give this a little stir, guys, and let it continue to simmer and thicken up. And then we will add our um, cube steak over there. So it is thickening up, guys. Also, guys, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can find me under the name Kalon Divine Inspirations. Again, that's Kalon Divine Inspirations. Okay, K L U N Divine D I V I N E. Inspirations. I N S P I R A T I O N S. Kalon Divine Inspiration. So please, guys, sus subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I am currently doing a promotion. So if you're following me, you will already know about that promotion. But we are doing a um, cash prize promotion for new subscribers. You get the opportunity to win a cash prize. And I'm just randomly selecting people who subscribe to my YouTube channel. So you may be a lucky winner. So please subscribe today. Please like this video and feel free to share it. Okay, you can also check me out on other social media platforms. You can check me out on my Facebook business page. And you can find me at Kaylon. Divine Inspirations on Facebook as well. Okay, Lund Divine Inspirations. Okay, so check me out on Facebook and please um, like my business page, Kaylon Divine Inspiration, and click the notification bell to follow me. And you will see when I post new content on that page. All right, we're just going to let this simmer, guys. Right, and we'll be back to put our meat in. Alright guys, there you have it. The finished product. You see that gravy is simmering hot. It's still bubbling. Alright, and you can see all of the onions and bell pepper that was sauteed on the meat there. And it's going to be delicious guys. I wish you could have some. I wish you could smell the aroma. Alright, there you have it. 
right, finished products, guys. And don't forget, there is a part one where I did all of the prepping and seasoning. And it shows you when I first began this process. But like I said, I made a mistake and hit the stop button rather than the pause button. So I had to do a part two to show you the finished product of my meal. And again, this meal today that I was cooking is the Q steak with gravy. We have the broccoli, steamed broccoli, seasoned with a little onion powder and salt. And we're going to top that with cheese. Okay. And you have the seasoned rice. And it's seasoned with just a dash of salt, table salt, and some parsley. And we didn't want to put too much seasoning on the rice again because you have the seasoned gravy that will be going on top of the rice. So guys, thank you for watching. And again, remember to go check out the first part of this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And again, you can find me on YouTube at Kalon Divine Inspirations. I appreciate you stopping by today to watch this episode of Cooking with Kalon for this delicious meal of cute steak with onion gravy, onion bell pepper gravy, seasoned rice, and broccoli. Thank you guys.